we blame everything except ourselves. And most of the times, the reason why Satan's, you know, attempts at our life and all of his attack continues to prosper is because there is that breaking of the edge. Holiness itself is an invincible lifestyle. You live from a place where you don't, in fact, in all honesty, when the way of a man begins to please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You will just realize that you are in the midst of things that should devour you. For your sake, lions will just lose taste for flesh that day. And you will stay inside lions as though they are not carnivorous animals. It's the way of a righteous man. Ah, there are too many prayer points you can pray. So summarize them by living holy. Just be holy. If, if a man is holy, part of the things that he enjoys normally, there are certain vocabularies that are exclusively reserved for holy men. The Bible says you are the apple of his eyes. He suffered none to do them harm. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Holiness, holiness itself, in all honesty, is one of the greatest possibility and potential of the Christian. Take a shark out of the water. Suddenly you will see it like a very lazy, a very useless beast. If a monkey engages a shark and they go into an argument and decide to settle that argument with a competition and they fix that competition in the land, the shark has lost that competition already. Because the strength of that shark is in its element. It's only when it is in its element, that is when you will see its true potential. Man was not created to live in the world. He was created to live in God. Because it is in him we live, we move, and we have our being. If Satan lures you out of God, you will not know your true potential. You will be operating from a disadvantaged place. And the average man, the average man lives his whole life in disadvantage. Once upon a time or you know, few moments, he steps into light and calls it a testimony. And that is supposed to be his normal lifestyle. And is any time something happens around him, there is now a challenge. Then he begins to take God serious. He begins to, you know, capitalize on the things that were supposed to be his normal lifestyle. Then he will now see certain interventions. He will now say that God has given him a testimony. That thing he's calling a testimony is supposed to be his normal lifestyle. Normal. Normal. 